In this video, we're going to look at how a teacher can determine what a student has done within that document. If it's a shared document, the teacher can have a look at the process of how that document was formed. And we can use a tool called Revision History. And Revision History can be found under the File menu, and there is Revision History here. So let's click on Revision History. And here is my Revision History of this document. To show more detail, I want to click on this button here. Now we can see exactly what has been happening to this document throughout its history. So I scroll down to our revision history and I click on the very beginning. This is what my document looked like at the very beginning. Obviously there is nothing there. I can go up and I can see the times and dates of, of the document. This was done today, so let's look at something that was done at 9.33. Something is happening on my document and I can see exactly what's happening here. This was added at 9.33 because I can see it is in a different color and it was added by this person, KIS EdTech. At the moment I can see though only one person has actually been editing this document. So as I scroll I can see at 9.52 Richard Poff entered the document. So let's click on that version. As I scroll down I can see nothing has been added at this point by Richard. So let's go further up in our revision history and click on 9.57. Here's my revision history. I can see this has been suggested by Richard Poth. There's some more detail in my document now. Something was deleted from my document. So I want to find out who actually did it. So I can scroll up and let's go to 59. And I can see that this has been deleted and this has been deleted by Richard Poth. So I can have a very good idea of who has edited and who has changed the document in specific places. And at any time, I can restore this document to the version that I want. Revision history is a very powerful tool that allows a teacher to see the progress of a student within a classroom. For example, if a student is writing an essay, a teacher can go through the revision history of that essay and see the thought process of how that essay has been written. It's also a very good teaching tool. For example, if a teacher wants to teach how a child should convert a simple sentence into a complex sentence, write the simple sentence and then ask the student to add words to that sentence to make it into a complex sentence. The teacher can then go back to the revision history and see exactly how that sentence was actually formed. That concludes this video. I hope you can find a real benefit in using revision history.